And now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to change hair color two ways. The first way is for beginners. It's not, it's pretty simple. And it's basically, we're going to change hair color the same way we changed eye color. But the problem with this is that it doesn't look that realistic. So I'm just going to highlight her hair with red real quick. And, oops, I forgot to create a new layer. So hold up. Remember to create a new layer on everything that you do or else your work can, can get messed up. And if you create a new layer and you mess up, you could just erase the layer or delete it and it's not that big of a deal. So create a new layer. Alright, highlight her hair. Just real quick. Change the layer view to overlay. And as you can see, it doesn't look really that realistic. It just looks like someone drew over it, which we did. But uh, the other way, which is the advanced way, to make it look even more realistic. Um, just go ahead and delete the layer. Okay. What you want to do is lasso around her tool. And, or lasso around her hair, my bad. And I'm just going to lasso around a little part of her hair. Okay. Now, what you want to do after you lasso it around it, go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, just like we did with the teeth. This time click colorize and you could do a lot of stuff with hue and saturation for example if a picture is too dark you could make it lighter and you could change the color of pretty much anything and hue and saturation is a really good thing a really good tool to use in adobe photoshop so just change the color of her hair to whatever you want and i'm going to change it to grayish white click ok and as you see her that part of her hair looks realistically grayish white and it looks pretty real and if you do it to all of her hair and do it exactly the way her hair looks, it will look extremely real. Okay. And that's it. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to make someone look like a monster or um, a zombie, some would say, the Hulk. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this picture of um, bark or tree bark that I found. And then open a picture of someone that... that you could do it too and just um, control A to select, control C to copy and control V to paste it and I'm just gonna hold up I'm just gonna cover his just a little part of his face just the middle so I can show you guys how it looks okay combine the layers that I just made merge them then change the layer type you could do two ways either overlay which would look like that or some do multiply which will look like that now i prefer overlay just because you could see their face better but yeah and then after you click on whatever you want just go ahead and erase wherever it's not supposed to be like we just want this to be on his skin right so we're going to erase all of it that's out of his face and on his hair and then after we're done with that, it will it will look pretty realistic if you do a good job at it. And yeah, I just did a quick job on it. But look, it, you could see his nose, his eyes. It looks pretty realistic. <clears throat> and if you do a better job on it by erasing it and doing every single part of his um, face, then it will look pretty realistic. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is well actually the last thing I'm going to teach you guys um, is how to make lightning and uh, basically you don't really need any images for this all you need to do is just open a new image the bigger the image is the cooler the lightning looks so I'm gonna put the width and height to 2000 and just go ahead and do this first off uh, make sure your default foreground and background colors are black and white and um, you just click on this little icon to make them black and white and then click on the gradient tool right here and um, just click on it from about one-fourth of the way in to about three-fourths of the way in and hold shift to make your line straight and just let go and you should come up with something like this now the next thing you want to do is go to filter render difference clouds 
And this is a pretty cool effect you could use for making like um, clouds that looks like it's about to rain or something. But right now we're just going to make lightning. So as you see, most of the white's on the outside and the black's in the middle. But we want to get the white in the middle so, and the black on the outside so it looks like lightning. So go to image, adjustments, and invert. And it inverts it like that. Okay, next up what you want to do is hold control L for the levels to come up. And move this black level to about three fourths or less than three fourths or more. It matters what you what you're looking for. And then hold this gray one and drag it a little bit down or two, but don't all the, go all the way to the end or also look like wimpy lightning. Go like that so it has a bit of a glow to it. And I wouldn't suggest moving the white one, but it matters how you want your lightning to look. So if you want to move it, move it a little, but it matters how you want your lightning to look. Okay, and then once you're satisfied with your lightning, click OK. And select an image that you want your lightning bolt to be in. And I'm going to select an image that I made a while ago on Photoshop. And it's of me looking like a zombie-ish kind of thing. Okay, next you want to hold Control A to select it all, Control C to copy, then click on the image, and Control B to paste. And as you see, it's um it, it's covering my face right now, but I want it to be, I, I just want the lightning to be there. But the, the black in the image is um, not giving it the effect I want. So what you just do is <coughs> go to the new layer options, that uh, it should create a new layer when you paste it. So go to the layer options and click screen and it should get rid of all the black there. And I, I could just put it like on my body or whatever. Or if I wanted to have a lightning effect, then I could make it strike down on my face. But yeah, and that's how you create lightning. So just have fun with Photoshop. I hope you guys learned something today. And just remember, um, you'd be surprised with what you could do with Photoshop, a little skill and a lot of imagination because after all photoshop is the perfect lie